Welcome to the PartyPoker.net European Open 5, where 72 poker players will try to repeat the feats like former champions Fraser and Flood. There's over half a million dollars in the prize pool, and tonight our tournament kicks off with six celebrities from the worlds of entertainment and sport who have battled out for a seat in the main draw. So let's see whose fame has got the most game. And Rod Harrington takes his poker seriously. He's played these celebrity games before, but has just missed the bullseye. But it's double tops tonight. I'm not a person that can read people. I can't read what they're doing. I don't even look for it, really, which I should do. And probably that's, that's a big flaw in my live poker game. When I was a dart player, I was a pretty, pretty cool dart player. I didn't bottle it, you know. Whatever happened, I was always going to fight to the end. TV critic and author Gary Bushell first played Hold'em in Las Vegas in 1984 with ZZ Top. But there's no long beards on this table. I was really confident about today. I felt good this morning. I thought, yeah, I can feel it. And then someone told me Norman Pace was playing. I thought, no, it's all gone now. Michelle Alp, no. I mean, you're putting amateurs against professionals, aren't you? I haven't got a chance. Paul Safehands Jones is a former Southampton goalkeeper whose most feared poker opponent is old teammate Matt Letissier. Played professional football for Wolves, Stockport County, Southampton and Liverpool. Possibly under pressure I suppose at times, so hopefully, hopefully keep a good straight face and uh, work it that way. But uh, no, I'll just go out and enjoy it as well. That's the main thing obviously. Uh, go with the hands you've got and see what you can do. Norman Pace has poker in his blood and backbone in his spine. This comedian and writer has been on the poker circuit for a while and can play the spots off the cards. I'm not a poker pro. I play a lot of poker, but I'm not a professional. I don't earn my money that way. I earn my money talking about it. And uh, I can talk the talk, but can I walk the walk? Dwayne Ledegio knows plenty about gold. This former Olympian is now a TV producer, but can he produce the goods tonight? I am currently known as a Predator. On Gladiators, I am a former uh, double Olympic medalist. I'm not too hopeful, but um, you know, in poker, there's always that element of luck, and uh, you know, I could could have a nice, nice fall. That's the only big difference is that I, the cards could fall right for me, and uh, I could amazingly play them well. So we'll we'll see. TV presenter Michelle Orp is saturated with poker. She's made a big splash in events like the Women's Open and the European Ladies Event and it's hoping to take down these celebrities tonight. Because I've seen a lot of poker and I've seen a lot of poker played and I have commentated on TV poker before, it definitely helps. In these types of games, a lot of people are making moves. It's hard to be really tight and really like a rock. And uh, usually, I'm going to, I would use the fact that I'm a girl and because I do TV and I'm blonde, people think she can't play, she doesn't know what she's doing. And they try and bully me off. Whereas the guys here today, a lot of them have met me through poker. So a lot of them think I'm a really good player. So they're going to be really scared of me. I'm going to use that against them. Bated breath and cards in the air for the European Open 5, a tournament with plenty of history and lots of prestige. These six celebrities are about to kick it off and hope at the end of the day they can be the ones with their eyes on the title. Joined by Nick Perso and always a lot of anticipation, Nick, when a tournament starts up. Chips on the table. The yellow chips worth a thousand. Blues are two. Reds five k a piece. Hundred thousand in front of every player. And the one who garners all six hundred k going into the main draw. Line starting at one and two thousand here, but in the six seat. Chatty old table, isn't it? Yeah, they've been in the green room with each other for a while, and uh, they seem to be getting on quite well. Michelle. Norman and uh, Rod Harrington. For me, those would be the, the <coughs> players who've definitely played uh, oh, a couple dozen of these celebrity formats anyway. Uh, yeah. Go on, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. What are you going to do, mate? What are you going to do? It's all of a sudden there's something to work out now. 
Oh, Pass. That's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it says in the book I have to raise, so I'm going to raise. Norman plays an honest pass. game, an ace queen, pass. not a bad start. Pass. The book says I have to raise. Well, he's got ace queens, so. Oh, two ace queens. Cool. And these are two pass. players, Rod and Norman, both of whom. <laughs> uh, they're not. They're not uh, going to do their stack with a uh, with a single ace, you know, too early at the first hand of a of a celebrity hit, are they? Well, they know each other. They've played these before, as you said, and they're going to be both playing each other quite cautiously. This is an interesting flop, though. I mean, in some players' hands, you could see all the chips going in. Wow, that's a that's a big bet he's made there. I mean, you got to be thinking about your stack right now, don't you? This is a big bet, and uh, are both of these players willing to go broke with his hand right now? Well, there's forty-six thousand in the pot already, Jesse. I mean, there's two streets of betting left. I mean, you know, that's a blank. That really is a blank. And um, is the seven going to slam him down? I, I don't know. I think Rod really likes his hand. Look, he's firing again. Now Norman's thinking not only about this 20,000 from the look of his eyes, but he realises that Harrington likes his hand and worried about what might be fired at him at the river. And he knows Rod's no fool, right? If Rod has a hand that's willing to, to play for the whole stack, is it at least ace-queen? It's at least ace queen, so that's what you, you're yeah, absolutely right, Jesse. He's worrying that's about, that's you know, it, it yeah, is, right. is uh, Harrington going to be going mad with <laughs> king-queen? You know, so... He's really going to be worried that, you know, he's called you. with 7, 8, 6, 7 suited, these types of hands. I think he's going to call this bet and pray that Rod checks the river. You can't egg people on. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can throw things I mean, out. Is that the right <laughs> play here for Norman? I mean, is, is, what, what would fold be like right now? Is that a, what kind of decision? Is that not the worst decision, is it? Or? Um, it's all about, it's a psychological <laughs> game. Yeah. It's an interesting one. I'm not sure whether. I mean, here's the thing. If you call, it's going to be what, 86,000 in the pot. If you call this 20k, and um, they're only going to have like 60k each. That is my thinking. So there's less than the pot size bet on the river. Kings or pair of aces, you re-raise pre-flop. This is he's going it through now. If you got a seven, you're very lucky. Yeah. If you got a pair of twos, you're even luckier. I'm all in. Erase all in. Wow, the fact that he's audibly gone through his thought process amazes me. Well, he's kind of, I mean, basically said what is happening. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but can Rod now rule out kings? He told Rod that he doesn't have kings or aces, doesn't he? Did he just tell Rod he has ace queen? I find that very, very strange that he would actually go through that but you're right i mean or or the game for novices well rod think he's got queens full and is trying to talk him into a call here there's definitely an element of that we know these players are very I'm talkative they're big personalities and they uh you know you norman could be throwing a bit of a a line here to rod at the end of the day norman's made a nice play this. here because because Rod's it's actually fun. thinking about folding, isn't he? Hey, this pot to me, Jesse, has been about initiative. First hand. Norman's taken the initiative pre-flop with Ace Queen, and Harrington's just called. But since the flop, Harrington's been doing the betting, which has really put pace off guard and really had him thinking about whether he had the best hand. Now Harrington's retaken the initiative in the hand. You've lost and now your Harrington's is worried <laughs> <laughs> whether he's got the best hand or not. Oh, no, he's got the best hand. Am I mug enough to call this? Oh, you it's get quick, isn't it? Double your money. It's great poker, away. isn't it? Because, uh, as right. you said, Norman was worried about playing for his stack, and he's turned the tables, and now Rod is worried about playing for his stack. Well, Jesse, you worried about, you know, whether the chips would fly in on, on, on this flop I with these hands. I the this is small. the thing. This is a six-handed <laughs> game. We've both got 50 big blinds at the beginning yeah. of the hand, 100,000 <laughs> chips. And this what pot happens can get is very anybody big, at the table can quickly. call the clock on somebody, but I'm not going to do that to you. Rod right? really has to be worried, though. Um, <laughs> Oh, Norman great. could have queens full. He could be the one after giving the speech yeah, with the king dynamics. Because when you commit to yourself, of course, you know. <laughs> you know, when you call after the way this betting has gone, Norman has raised pre-flop to call your bet on the on the on the on the, on the flop, and now Norman's basically pushed all in over your turn bet. Well, Norman is showing extreme strength. Ace queen then shrivels up. It looks great. Seven seven queen deuce with no flush draw, no straight, but. 
you know, when you call, you're going to be <laughs> relieved that you see the same hand, and he's laid it down, Jesse. Time Norman for some hand show. analysis. Well, that was some start for a celebrity heat, and a little more benefit of analysis from poker expert Neil Channing. Two guys with ace queen, Neil, and uh, Norman Pace, well done to win that pot. Yeah, very well done, Jesse. Like, like you say, uh, it was a, a, a bit of a start, wasn't it? That was the first hand of this tournament, and um, normally, you know, we get a few internet qualifiers, people haven't been on TV before. These guys have been on TV plenty of times. Uh, they didn't show too many nerves about putting all their chips in. No, and I mean, Norman Pace there, he figured it out. He, he let us know, too. Yeah, he, he, he had a perfect analysis, didn't he, really? He said, uh, he said well, if you've got a seven, I've just got to lose my money, and, and that's perfectly fair. Uh, and he said, well, you can't have aces or kings. You didn't re-raise me pre-flop. So he, he figured out he was winning, and uh, he put all his money in. The only thing I would say, uh, if you're going to figure it out, can you figure it out in your head? You know, what do you have to tell the other guy? He figured out what Rod had, but he also told Rod what he had. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a golden rule there that uh, if, if you're not great at this speech play stuff, um, maybe you should just kind of uh, hold your tongue. After the break, the celebrities continue their march. Cards will flip and the rivers will flow. Welcome back to the Party Poker European Open 5. Nick Perso and myself watching this celebrity heat. Pass. Call. Gary's holding his cards up pretty high here. Um, Pass. Cool. Yeah. $19,000. I think the exchange rate is up getting a Yeah, he is. The way this table is seated, you have to Call. really protect your hand. Raise you? if you want to or check your option. Check. It's not really a circle, it's a horseshoe. Oh, we've got a little family pot. I'm actually praying for something. <laughs> Four ways. This is Dwayne's first flop. Check. Check. Miss. Yeah, one of those rare occasions where four people get to the flop. And okay, you can no check there. Check. Yeah. Pass, but you can yeah. check. There's been no bet before you. Yeah. Check. check. It's kind of okay. Check. The the check. first level. I mean, <laughs> obviously Paul and Dwayne. You know, they just they just need to get the feel for the He's game the and and not God. lose any big pots. That's what they need. To, they need to sit back, watch. Someone's got straight here. Um, I mean, you have to actually say it was a pretty psychic fold out of turn by... Uh, yeah, because now he's got second pair top <laughs> kick. Or, uh, Norman's <laughs> got the nuts. <laughs> Paul's got a flush draw, and I'm going to wonder... I mean, these are the opportunities where if he identifies he's got the flush draw and hits it, Norman's hand is very strong. Um, you know, he's got obviously the nuts now, and, and he will pay some off on the river. So <laughs> this is a chance for Jones to get some chips. It's also one of those situations, isn't it? I mean, calling 5,000 and... Oh, he's raising! Oh, wow, this is great for Norman. Look at Norman's face. He's <laughs> sitting there with the absolute crown jewels and someone's check-raised him. And yet, kind of nice initiative by Paul Jones here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. For, flesh draw. From a guy that we thought might be playing too passively that just folds out a turn without even checking, and now to check-raise a turn when he's picked up a gut shot and a flush draw, I mean, yeah, this we is good. raised to 30,000 total. But Paul doesn't want to give... Uh, Sorry, Norman doesn't want to give any free cards. There's two flush draws on the board, and he has the nuts, and uh, he wants to make Paul pay for that. Look at his head swivel back and forth, Norman. I mean, it's just like, it's like a Christmas yeah. jingle he's humming along to. First I get the ace queen, then I make the Same nuts amount. straight. There's 20 yeah. more to call, yeah. 20 more. I'm funking for Paul here. This will get him right back in the, the game, even at all the chips and... Uh, just call reds if you wish to call. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, hopefully call Verbal me. will go. He just call. said call, so that's good. So this is a big pot. It's a 70k mm -hmm. pot and Norman's going, no yeah. spade, no diamond. Spade is Jones. The... the, the has not hit him. Norman still has the virtual nuts. Yeah, Norman's pretty. Pretty sure he's got the best hand, he's giving it the old... Oh, what have I got? Let me see if I can go back and check. Now, this pot is big enough where if Paul Jones feels like he has to try and make a little bluff here, you, 
can't really criticize that, can you? I mean, I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean... It's desperation, but... You know, Norman's first to act, and, you know, there's 70,000 in the pot. Norman's weighing up how strong he thinks yeah. Jones' hand is, and then bet, bet an appropriate amount. Now, you know, is Jones going to do something kamikaze and just go straight over the top all in because he's obviously got nine high? I'm all in. Oh, wow. All in. Norman's basically got the hand crushed and... Um, he's very aggressive. I came to play, boys. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, go on. Oh, cool. And a call? Yeah, yeah. Hey, just turn your cards oh. over, I'll match the chips. Oh, uh, I... You know, I think Paul might j j just have misread his hand here, Nick. Yeah. It, it, it seems Paul thought he had a straight and uh, they were chopping. Norm had more chips than you. <laughs> 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 well, he's, he's definitely going to get some experience with this Paul Jones. Uh, I mean, the call yeah. on the end, uh, thank you. I think you can safely say he oh, misread no. his hand. No, I can cool. safely say he misread yeah. his hand. Yeah. I mean, he's playing for a lot of money under the TV yeah. lights for the first time. Well, he might have been a bit nervous and misread his hand. Yeah, well, it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, look, he's smiling. Mm. Well, there were some nice yeah. ideas there in that last hand for Paul Jones. The check raise with a straight and flush draw on the turn, Nick. Kind of, kind of saw. But uh, yeah, a bit spicy. I mean, at the end of the day, he's got a gut shot that he picked up with the eight and a flush draw. Decided to play it strong and check raise, and uh, you know, obviously thought he could get face off the hand. But face on the turn had the absolute nuts and uh, wasn't going anywhere. Is it Norman's day? Sure looks like it. You never know. Well, I mean, we have only just begun the first level. Still only about halfway finished, so... Oh We've seen a lot of interesting hands for so <laughs> few hands. Yes. Dwayne, I'm guessing, just feels like, you know, it's time It's time for me to get in there. Right. Keep right. my feet wet. Fair Hello. Fair Hello. American Airlines for Mr. Yes. Bushel. That's what he was waiting for. I need to put in how much? Four if you wish to call. I was reading Gary's uh, bio shit. He says the first time he ever played poker was in 1984 Whoa. with ZZ Top. I mean, how, <laughs> how, how awesome would that be? That's a cool oh, brag. <laughs> Playing poker with ZZ Top. Talk about cards up your sleeve. You could... Uh oh, this is this is trouble for Ledejo now, isn't it? This is trouble for, for for Ledejo. I mean, he's limped in with a pretty awful hand, to be honest, and flop top pair, so he's not going anywhere for the moment. And what is the thought? Yes. Top pair, no kicker uh, uh, against uh, you know a razor. Uh, you you call a bet and reevaluate on the turn. You have yeah, to prepare yeah, yeah. to throw this away. A, a razor a lot of the time is going to have like an ace king type hand and you, you, you're going to call one bet or even pocket tens, pocket eights, My pocket nines. So you're going to definitely call one bet with top pair. Um, and you know, you Gary's making these very small bets. Just he just bet 5,000 on the flop. Now he's only betting 10,000. I use my brain a lot. I think Dwayne's thinking one he's one getting a bit tired. milked here. The one in my little toe. <laughs> it sometimes trickle into my big toe. It's a tricky sort of decision. Uh, and, uh, oh, why not? <laughs> Let's have some fun. Well, if he hits a deuce, it's Call. going to be yeah, trouble for, yeah. for Gary. He's got five outs and one to come, so. Mm. Mm. This is up, I'll be good. I mean, I think he's going to bet another 10. How greedy does he want to be? Is he going to lose the customer at all in? 10,000. Well, yeah, that's so certainly. He bets paid. another 10, and he's going to get instantly yeah. called cards, and show please. two pair aces up, aces and fours. Better than jacks and fours. And for, for Ledegio, oh. uh, I mean, once the flop <laughs> comes down, the bets are small. You can Lovely. understand why he's come all the way there, can't you? Yeah, yeah, the guy's bet no, a quarter of the pot on the flop. Yeah. He's bet, like, the and relatively I the same 10,000 on the 10,000 on the river. He's just really so priced him in. There is a danger with that, obviously, <laughs> that, you know, uh, with the implied odds of the guy turning two pair of trips on you and you not being able to see it. It's a bit risky then. playing aces yeah. that way. But, you know, in yeah. this specific case, he got the maximum. Had he a bet any more on the turn, I think, would have, Maybe would have left the hand, but <laughs> Gary's in the game it? now. Nice little job <coughs> of milking, like like Heidi. 
What, on the Austrian mountainside? <laughs> yes. He did everything but sing. <laughs> Have you got a pair of later hosen at home? <laughs> I could see you in a pair of later hosen, Jess. If I could find a pair that fit me, I would definitely <laughs> wear them. Cool. Cool. So there's a there's a very famous poker cool. player who used to wear later hosen. Uh, Philip Marmerstein. Yes, that's exactly right. You got it. Cool. <laughs> he used it's to a good trivia question. He used to be in the World Series 2004 with like so later, true. and with a feather in his hat You're as well. Absolutely, he showed up at every tournament in later hosen. Very good backgammon player, that guy. Complete case. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, two pair. <laughs> look at this. And uh, and look at this. Two pair for Norman and the nut straight for Ledejo. And I mean, Norman is just, he has absolutely no idea. He just thinks that everything is going right for him. This is really bad because uh, Dwayne could be on yes. tilt, losing the last hand with his jack. I'm all in. Yeah, I mean. We it's all in. I match. And cool. a call? Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything else is, was going to happen. Oh, it's a cold deck for Norman here. <laughs> yeah. Well, the three or the six, it's obviously. Uh, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Not going in, wouldn't it? Knock Dwayne out. We see the percentages yeah, there. And um, Norman's going to have to get lucky. Can't really blame the, the play of either player here, can you? No. I mean, top two pair on a flushing board against a guy that's just lost a fart. I mean, it's just unlucky. And nice that, hand that makes this heat more interesting, Jesse. It certainly does. It would have been unfortunate to lose Dwayne so quickly. And uh, the double up. And he had chips. He had about, you know. <laughs> he could afford it, that's for sure. 80k at the beginning of the hand. Yeah, sure. That's going to uh, tighten this field. It looked like it was going to be a runaway from pace. Don't go broken and unraised pot, okay, but there's nothing <laughs> yeah, could have done there. The these these yeah. multi-way limp pots where no one raises, all sorts of things can flop. And, you know, you're not folding there, Jesse. I'm not folding there. You had top two there. You had the chips to, 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 to go with it. And unfortunately, he walked into Dwayne's nuts. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Ladejo, he's not... <laughs> He's, he's not a 100-meter man. He's a 400-meter man. You cannot count out a 400-meter man in the first 100 meters. The day he has got stamina, we'll see him at the end. Oh, it's always great when your clothes come back into fashion. Blinds are going <laughs> up. And would that you say your rule of thumb <laughs> you know, the small blind is not be seduced by pot odds? Or is that... <coughs> Not necessarily not be seduced by products, but just be aware of your <laughs> reverse implied odds. Just be aware that you can get yourself into a bit of trouble after the flop. Um, reverse implied odds, that's how much money you could lose by having the second best hand. Is that what it is? Basically, you, you articulated that way better than I ever could. I like it. It's the hands with like the ace eights that might flop an ace against bigger races, the king sixes that flop a king, you know, these kind of hands. But what about Ace Nine? I just, look, I just know Again. that you must, obviously. Yeah. Mm. You know, what does Gary know? He said he knows something. He's, He's looking at you know a, a pretty eye. girl thinking. That's just my novel. <laughs> <He's giving laughs> an angelic look, saying, I'll show "Trust me, I've got a big hand, but she's just stealing." Oh, I'll wait for that one then. But he likes these Ace type hands. We've seen him limping with Ace Six. We've seen him, you know, limping oh, with Ace Eight. Great part. It was the better yes. hand, but not a bad <laughs> pass, really, from what you're saying. No, Absolutely. Third, Again, please. he's going to get in these situations where he's out of position. And, uh, you know, he could three bet there and turn his hand into a bluff and, <laughs> and, and, and just take it down. And Isn't it? You can lie. You can't I think the show's been quite clever here. I think yeah, she's actually so going after the, the players While like you're Gary in the hand, she's going to stay out of the way. You can't tell the chief, so if I told you what my hand was in the hand, it's, it's mucked. Is that right? After the break, it'll be the road to fame or the walk of shame for these celebrities. <laughs> Welcome back. Still five on the table here, playing zero. down for that one seat. In the you may find rock. yourself in a beautiful house. With a beautiful wife. Oh, oh no, you yeah. cannot yeah. do this. And they're well, really going to think he's, um, he's yeah. raising, like, every hand in their eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's and friendly and game. Is it not allowed? You see, they're all mentioning it now. You're raising Never it again. It's a friendly it's game. Must be, yeah, it must, yeah, it must be. All oh, in, no. Oh. It's all in. Good game. He's, You've got he's, um, over 7% equity. Cool. You're, you're, okay. yeah. Is this... 
Uh, and is this just a bad situation oh. for Rod, or, or it was Ace Jack not worth it? No one's got a stack. He was playing yeah. aggressively, raising lots of hands. You're very low. You've got Ace Jack. Oh, he's actually got 12 percent equity. I mean. He, he basically had to go with it there, and, you know, he's walked into the nuts. I mean, if the guy had kings, it would have been in much better shape. Oh, we saw a diamond. Oh, we saw one diamond first card. He needs a diamond. Rod Harrington is two cards away from extinction. That was not his best card, but he does have two outs. Need a jack. He needs a two-outer. He knows what he needs. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, people. You're running to one. Oh, yeah. 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 Cheers, Norman. That yeah. just running into Cheers, it. I guess oh. the key oh. hand oh. for Rod oh. earlier on oh. with the, the ace queen. Now, uh, oh, oh, first no, hand of the, of the night. Yeah, that was a really interesting hand, and you know, after losing a few chips there, he, he never really quite got them back. But again, at the end, yeah. a little bit of a cold deck. Yeah. He ran into the man in four, Mr. Pace, yeah. with the aces, <laughs> and uh, was, was really badly dominated. <laughs> yeah, I'm disappointed because everybody comes here to win, but um, you know, in poker, if you don't get the cards or things don't go well, then you know, you lose a lot more poker uh, hands and you know, competitions than you win, that's for sure. So it's just, uh, you know, just forget about it and go home and I'll play a game online and see if I can win a f nick a few dollars off of someone else. Uh, <laughs> I think you said you had answered I counted wrong, man. More than that. Or well, you counted wrong. Wow. Wait, because look, I've got more blues than you've got. Yeah, not many. Ones. Two jacks, yeah, three eyes. Race to 10,000. And he's standardising oh, his reign size to 10 respect. at this stage, you know, at 2 4. Oh, he's making the same raise with his different there. types of oh. hands. <coughs> Six more. So I think now I've just yeah. It's a tough hand. Two nines, four-handed against a guy that's raising a lot. It's pretty hard for Michelle to 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 just open fold. She called pretty quickly, so. Well, she, she made a very quick call, and I mean, you, you know, you can just see like Rod Harrington, of course, had less chips, oh. but he might have re-raised there. Michelle, she's already kind of avoided going broke here. Too many chips to go broke pre-flat, perhaps. Well, when she starts re-raising like a third of her stack, and then pace, you know, will probably set her in four-handed with two jacks. I mean, oh, she's in trouble now. She is in trouble. Now I know a lot of players like to lead out an info info lead here. So got more than How do you like now. it? Twenty bits. It, it 20, kind of is a bit exploitable <laughs> well, against good players who will just like raise you a lot or call you a lot and you don't really have any more information but maybe against someone that she knows she knows Norman if he gives her action she might it, like if he raises she might just switch <laughs> off I always tend to check to the razor in part of my overall game plan so I don't normally do it but, okay, but, but there are benefits in doing it and this is a good example where you can do it if she's prepared to fold to a raise it's a good bet well here's the thing Norman oh. raises two eights, she flats two Isn't nines. It? You see, look, now, now, she, now. I hang out, then. I can't say anything. Such a hard one. Norman, <coughs> why can't you just call and let's see another card? He's Sorry, I'm here to play. She's on a roll. This is a huge measure of what Michelle is prepared to do to win this heat, isn't it? She's prepared to fold this. A lot of people would have gone broke already. I mean. Here's a problem, like, if Norman with his stack picks up two eights, he's going to raise, she's going to call, the flop's going to come, three, three, do, she's going to lead out. You know, she, he knows that she would have re-raised a bigger hand than eights, normally like jacks, queens, kings, aces. She's got one of the only hands, like nines, that she might oh, just call with, and he pair, might play eights exactly the same way, and now she's laying down the best hand. So <laughs> it's like worth playing into thinking this that is I a pretty call tough spot. Really, I should call because I shouldn't, because you said I should. Right, she's leveling this it's out to uh, what you think, I think, you think, you play. think. It's tough. This is tough. This, this pot. You haven't got two. Yeah, I mean it's clear that he hasn't got two. How possibly know that? Well, you raise. You're not going to raise with a two, are you? Can have quad twos. It's quite yeah. unlikely. I'm not going to put it down to quad twos. Michelle, you feel like she knows. I don't that think you've hit that board. I think you've got an over pair, but I just need to work out if it's bigger than mine. Or this is it. So that wow. comes down to a she said mine's bigger she's than yours. Thinking thinking you yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's she, 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 she's I mean, spot on the money. Would you make that move on me with something like Ace King? Ace there queen. we go. So here we What's go. Would he make that move with her in the long run with a just overcut? So she I has to factor that in his range as well. And when she sticks it through her mental poker stove, she's going to figure out that you know it's really, really close. Two cards to dodge. What are the blinds? Two four, and I've got ninety thousand. I think she's folding after she said that. 
I mean, either way, you just kind of love the way she's thought you're about not this. To do that. And she's. Are you not allowed to do that? Well, I think I'm <laughs> going do it again. to. I didn't know you're not allowed to do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to because it's just. She's going to have to what? She's making so conversation. So easily doing that with a big hand. I never generally raise back free legs. She's big. <sighs> it's tough fault. I mean, look lovely. at this board, she's deuce, very, deuce, yeah. three. I have to call. Yeah, she should. You might well have me beat, but yeah, no, you've won. I have to call. Cool. Turn no, he up. looks a bit worried. Nines. <laughs> no, nines. Got yeah. Yeah. You've got Jack. Oh. Yeah. So she knew yeah. that what, those were one of the hands. This is an unfortunate oh, situation. Jack. It is. She she really thought about it well. She thought and she yeah. said to herself Nick, that if she was ahead, she Wait. couldn't afford Hello. to fall. That was at nine. the end of the day. Is that what it was? D d d these are the kind of problems that you crunch away off the table Everybody in these type nine. of scenarios. It's certainly something <laughs> yeah, that I do, well. and it's like you know, there's two in the pack, it, Norman. It doesn't. It's four-handed. That's hitting not the bar, one of that one's four-handed. <laughs> it was a bit too close. You know, <laughs> going up a bit. That was very She close. wants to win. That call says to me she was committed to, to, to winning this That's heat. That's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Uh, that board, but she, eh? she was a little bit unlucky. Give me a nine. Oh. Well, nice. that eight wouldn't oh, have helped her on the turn, you see. Me? I mean, it this was. This is my dream it, you're, you're ruining. <laughs> it's just a game, girl. It's, it's just not a just game. a game, it means everything to me, and you're putting me out of the tournament. <laughs> you went for oh, it. Give well, us a she's game. Yeah. Yeah. She's putting on a brave face, but she played really well, and, and she didn't want to get in a marginal spot yeah. like that. Sometimes you can show more game in defeat than in victory. You think about the pot she's won, the pot she's played. It was real poker down there that Michelle showed. It's a gutsy call. Oh, it's fantastic playing all of them out there. So I've had so much fun. I'm gutted, gutted I've gone out because it's so much fun playing. But that's how you've got to look at it. And, you know, Pet Poker's a game of skill. We've got to have a little gamble every now and then, haven't you? That's what's the fun in that. Leaderboard, Nick and Norman, over 50% of the chips in play. And he's won more hands the other two put together. Yeah, this is uh, the normal pay show so far. Big hands, playing well. Right. If you could play coach mm -hmm. for either Gary or Dwayne, if so you had to whisper go one me. sentence <laughs> of advice into their hands about what? the correct simple strategy to beat Norman, what what would you say? Stick it in his eye, re-raise him, get it in, <laughs> wait for the blinds to go up, stay out of trouble, wait till the blinds get to like 510 and you've got 120k and if he opens just ship it in or 150k blinds at 510, he makes it 25k because he likes to raise two and a half times a big blind, ship it in for 125, cross your fingers and pray. I think that's going to be the way these guys are going to beat Norman because they're not going to chop away and outplay him. So force him to gamble pre-flop? Absolutely. And this kind of format, oh, cool. again, he's got another good hand. I mean, you know, and, and they're going to be thinking, what the hell's going on? I mean, we know Gary likes ace nine. They need to outflop him as well. I mean, to beat this guy at the moment, the cards he's been dealt in the stack, he's got the need to get lucky. So maybe a king comes off and, you know, Dwayne can take the lead. Yeah, Gary's actually raised this one. Completely understandable that he's raised this one. Ace nine should be big. And he likes his hand. He's got top pair, top kicker. What was it, eight? Minimum bet's four if you want to bet. Five. Four. Five. 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 Yeah, and now this is going to tempt Norman, and this actually. Re raise. Wow. Good, you meant that. Mm. 45,000. That was total. lovely. Wow. I mean, it's almost like Dwayne has said to himself, I've so recognized that, that, that if Gary only Very. bets five, he doesn't really like his hand. You don't have to tell him. You don't I mean, have to he tell did him, bet five all the way down with aces and then ten, then ten. I mean, you know. Some of the small bets don't necessarily mean that Gary doesn't have anything. That's Gary's got top there, top kicker, lays it down. And what a great... We didn't think Dwayne had this in him. It was beautiful. This is like... This is like a star well, is born. That. That's okay. You can take them under yours. Can, yeah. I'm sure that Neil's <laughs> going to have something to say about right. that. <laughs> <laughs> what a hand. Big bluff there, Neil. Uh, now... There, I've heard about this weak lead sort of business. People talk about that. Is that what happened? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Gary, uh, Gary Bushell uh, gets himself into a situation where he raises pre-flop with ace nine, Norman Pace just calls with ace jack. He, he might have re-raised, but he's probably thinking this is a bit unusual, this Gary Bushell is suddenly raising. Uh, and now Gary Bushell has made this really weak bet on the flop. Now, a weak lead normally is when you've got a really strong hand, you bet weak, and you hope that it looks weak to the other person so that he'll bluff you and you can catch his bluff. Um, the problem here is, though, 
He, he doesn't then catch his bluff. He, he decides, well, actually, I am weak, and he throws his hand away. So, I mean, what did Dwayne do? Did he just just read it for exactly what this weak lead was, which was weak? Yeah, I mean, Dwayne, uh, has, uh, he's not an experienced poker player, but he's used his guts and his natural reading of, you know, the reaction of the other players to say, these guys look weak. Uh, it's put 5,000 bet from Gary Bushel, just a call from Norman Pace. Unbeknownst to him, he's made his first ever squeeze play. From the mouths of babes, he's got the instincts, Dwayne. How far can he take it? That squeeze play guys, right there, yeah. Jesse, was out of this world. Lines yeah, are going up, and what is Dwayne Ledash, Ledash, Led, Ledejo. Ledejo capable of? Ledejo. Well, after playing King <laughs> Deuce like it was Jack 10 on the 789 board, who knows? What position was he in the relay? Was he was he anchor man or was he? No, you think um, was he a, a starter? He definitely wouldn't have been the guy who took the ball at the, the top oh. first. Yeah. Just looking at his style, you got to think he's either a third leg or an anchor man. He looks like an anchor man to me. He was the 1993 European champion at 400 meters, so probably the top guy at the time. So probably the anchor man. And now he's really starting to step the pressure up. I love the way that Dwayne's playing. He's kind of just <laughs> stayed out of trouble, and he <coughs> really put the guys to the test. He showed a lot of heart there. He's got a fantastic table image, doesn't he? Absolutely. They really put him on a hand. I mean, top pair, top kicker. Just I know it was a bad ball to the top pair, top kicker, but just insta-folded pretty much. He's gotten out-flopped in a big way here. This is a big test of his table image. 10,000. Can he take Bushel off this one? Or is Gary a little bit suspicious? Just a little bit. <coughs> that looks like a suspicious man to me, Jesse. Look He's at his right his eyebrow. Beard. It's about four inches above his face. What was John Belushi like? <laughs> the bling ring. He's going to peel one off there, oh. I think. Yeah, he's cooled. Is but has that opened the door for the bet on the turn here? Well, we know a lot of these guys have been firing the barrels. Now there's a four card straight out there. Uh oh. <laughs> have a little bit of that. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> Talk about withering to the oncoming power oh. of Ladagio. Gone too big. Uh oh. Now he's telling oh. some pork pies. How do you suck him in? You what know, is, what did bring you he's in? telling the pork pie, saying that he had the straight. How do you suck people <laughs> in? And he's, you know. I had a good hat. <laughs> no, you didn't, Dwayne. Look at that smile. Well, she didn't take off his fist. back to the action. Like, Nick <laughs> Perso and myself, wide eyed. the wig. <laughs> about what Gary was waiting for. Now let's see two big hands. Let's see two big hands. Norman's dude like, well, she not had much of. He hasn't had tens, I think. So. Okay, that's going to go as a raise to twelve. Yeah, I'm going to raise to twelve. Yeah. If you want to raise, just say raise, oh. and it has to be at least double. Oh, okay. Okay, so twelve total. Pass. Minimum raise. Wow. Hello. Raise. Re -raise. Well, okay, it's all going in. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. It's a 36. These are monster table. hands, Jesse, three handed. 24 yeah. more to call. It's, it, it's a great spot for Gary, and it's also a bit unfortunate for Dwayne oh. in that, it, you know, he's he knows his image is getting a little weak. This Go is a great a spot for him to get on. Go but he's unfortunately a getting on against a, a weaker, uh, stronger hand. Yeah, I mean, um, if the board comes low, the, the ace will really kill the action. But uh, it's not calm. The queen might kill the action. But look, pretty good flop for Jax. You know like, he's got three he's, queens. He's <clears throat> bet commit himself here. Actually, all in. Fifty thousand. Actually, it's a bit late for that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Fifty thousand. Mm. I think it's virtually oh, the same got either three way. Queens, you see. Yeah, I think he's basically that that stack of red chips he's just put in is basically putting Gary all in. That might oh. be a big bluff. Then again, could be. It seems unlikely. <laughs> 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 and oh, Gary's not going to. You really, you might have two jacks. 
Two Jackson queens. Wow, what a good read there from Ooh. Gary. I mean, Might he's never folding kings. This is a Might bit of a slow roll, but I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's got it on the money. I want to see Dwayne's face, actually. Re yeah, he knows he's been caught yeah. with his... And a call? Yeah. Oh, Sorry, he's re-raised all in. Did you just pass this shit chip, <clears> please? <throat> I think the all-in here for Gary call. is yeah. is, is, cool. is only going to be a few thousand more, even if Gary actually showed Dwayne the. I think Dwayne's going to be really <laughs> surprised. Another five thousand. Another five. Yeah. Yeah. He's actually, even getting space. the getting the price to draw for the jack. Yeah. Uh, Jacks. <clears throat> oh, well played. <laughs> Maybe. Well played. Maybe. Maybe. Well played. Nice. And unless the jack tops, another bit of a roll like reversal. Bushel getting the chips he first. lost back. Yeah. yeah, the suits are covered. The hearts are no good for uh, so Dwayne. So uh, unless no jack, much. Jesse, yeah. That's uh, we're going to see a bushel double up. Maybe a jack now. As you said, <coughs> Nick, these are two massive hands, three-handed. It's almost impossible not to see the chips going all in all the time. Yeah, let's not second guess yourself. You've got. Oh, oh. there we go. Look at that, oh. poor Gary. Oh. Jack on the river. <laughs> 5% chance. Oh, 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 <laughs> this is going to make for a very oh, exciting right, heads up. The way Dwayne has actually unlucky. been changing gears, unlucky. playing aggressively. I think he's going to be a little handful. I, I, but I, I like Gary. Wow. Yeah, Bushel was patient. Out, he I was disciplined. Now your percentage chance. He got river, but now Dwayne in the heads up. Very, Looking very at right. the last hand, unfortunate for Gary Bushell. He played patient. He waited for his hand, Nick, to get the money in. And uh, being in with a 95% favorite, that's about the best you can do. With one card to come, only two jacks in the deck to save Dwayne. He had to be feeling good about his kings. But, you know, this is no limit poker. And these jacks are still in the deck and popped out on the river. You really like it's got going. down to this. They're two players and only one to. seat in the gotta main gotta draw. And the like chip the stacks are pretty close. That, on one side, though, Norman Pace. Like, like he's got the I experience. Like he's got the game. He's got the cards. Yeah, it's it's yeah, all gone perfect for him. But standing yeah. in his way, Nick, for, um, <coughs> is Dwayne, who has <laughs> really Don stepped Cheezer, it up and showed a bit of bluff as well. Uh, what do you see in this heads up? Aggression is a very good actor. Heads I agree, up, he's a very good actor. definitely so shown in the last few hands he's willing to change British gears, so that's going to go in his favour. The key the point for me here is, again, cards not. do dictate what might happen. Will Norman's um, rush continue? If so, I, know, I, I think he'll come out victorious. Having said that, if they both have bad hands, Dwayne's aggression might run Norman over. Looking at the stats, Pace has won twice as many hands and has played quite a bit more as well. Uh, what is his strategy going to be for the heads up? I think Norman doesn't want to get involved in big pre-flop confrontations with the Dejo. I think he's going to want to play small ball, chip away and try and outplay Dwayne after the flop. Dwayne knows, shows that he's prepared to gamble and could really apply the pressure on Norman. <laughs> Norman's talking, oh. keeping Dwayne talking, you know, keeping keeping him involved. So. I just, I'll just call. Call. Are you yeah. picking up on any tells let's from any of the players throughout this thing, Jesse? <coughs> well, Would you say that's I just want, I mean, I think Norman or? gets a little bit I quiet like sometimes when he has Irish, a big hand, so but maybe it's so just, the you know, Irish sometimes you, know. you imagine things uh, when you're... Like that, but true, but he has had some monster Vegas hands as well. Vegas is, I, I always want to know what the Honolulu, what that would be like. Eight. Eight thousand. And wow. this is good. See oh, here on. we go. I was going to say, yeah. it just seemed cool. like Norman was winning all those pots when they both missed. But this is like, this is a float by Dwayne, isn't it? This is what the po poker players call a float. He's calling with no hand on the flop to take it away on the turn. And he's actually turned something pretty half decent. <coughs> now, what's Norman going to do? Is he going to check. Check. keep representing the four or the ace? No, he's checking with his gut shot. Praying for a deuce. And this is a nice little momentum switch by Dwayne. Basically, oh he God. was Pass. going to win this pot. If <coughs> anything came down except a deuce, wasn't it? Well, this is it. Do have a good one now. Yeah, you see, Dwayne again lying. Dwayne had nothing, yeah, and, and calling, this is why position I said heads up is so important. Calling here, I mean, it's it's just such a powerful play, and, and, and uh, you know, Norman's just resigned to check, fold the turn. <coughs> and I wake up, oh, this is great. <laughs> Jet lag yeah, as well, huh? You, you, you yeah. actually, 
I think if I don't a, take um, my girlfriend into to see Love at the Mirage here, there will be no it. more love for me. I've been <laughs> promised to go and see that, and we never actually made it in the end. I heard it's a great show. see American tourists fall asleep all the time. again for Dwight. they get comfortable in there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I just say it before. I don't think he's, he hasn't. Uh -huh. He intended to raise there, then put the money in too quick, didn't he? This isn't wasn't a trap. The, yeah, no, no, no. And and, and Norman's got to be mindful of the fact oh, yeah, that Dwayne did them, intend yeah, to they raise. Get cozy so and warm after a long flight. I, just said, I might try that later. My friend um, <laughs> just flew in from the states. He right, just passed out as well. Yeah, this could be trouble now for Dwayne. Check. Oh, wait. This is about what Norman had in mind. Set the trap. Is it? Not cool. Cool. Is call a better option than race? And, um, he is still mindful of the fact that Dwayne wanted to times race pre-flop and call out. by accident. Yeah. So he just probably wants to see a safe turn. Keep the pot small. Check. Check. Yeah. I'll, I'll just raise. Ten thousand. Yeah. Probably not enough to Four. chase Norman. Would a bigger bet have chased him, or is it just marginal? It, it's marginal. I mean, it could well have called again. I mean, top pair heads up is a pretty strong hand, but uh, Dwayne's bet size was definitely Check. off there on Check. the turn. <coughs> I think he's firing again um, though, because he knows he doesn't think he's got anything, which pretty much he doesn't really. He's got some showdown value with Ace King, but it's probably not good. He's looking at his watch. Does he think this is home time? 62k in the pot. If he does want to bet, how much does he have to bet? I think he has to bet about 45, 50,000. Oh, that's a big bet. It is a big bet, but I don't necessarily think normal will necessarily fold. There's no overcards to the king. The diamonds didn't get there. And the longer this goes on, Dwayne staring at the board. He doesn't look that strong, but uh, you're right, Jesse. I, I think he might fire, though. The fingers coming down to check. I'll just check. Yeah. Check. I've got a queen. I think a pretty Good reasonable chance. decision. Yeah. He's still got 267,000. But for pace, the chip lead now. I haven't earned the right to earn that amount of money. He's, he's talking friendly and he's playing and the steamroll game all the time. Sometimes it's, comes yeah, too early I think without he's really winning championships. You know, being I think a champion, from I what think. I can see. That's when he you deserve. Deserve. Cool. He's doing the whole chit chat uh, thing with Dwayne. That's when you deserve. He's much more focused on no, what's going on than the white team's Yeah, yeah. Well, just seems champion, to be having a great part of time. Really, having a good well, chin yeah, wag. But yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I think Norman's paying about 10% attention to the conversation. Oh, hello. Something's going on here. You ruin a guy's life. This could be the end. This could be the end because we know that we were waiting for that point where Dwayne bets. Well, he's not over betting now. But he's going to have problems folding top pair. Cool. Cool. It's a nice call by Norman. He, he understands that once Dwayne takes the lead, he, remember, he remembers the deuce three hand. Dwayne can just shove all these chips in with nothing. Absolutely. You're, you're absolutely right. Dwayne, you know, I mean, Dwayne does doesn't like have to have 10 here. He <coughs> could have four or five, right? Yeah, and look at the deep reach here coming up. 20 again. That's 20. Should he, should he call him again? <coughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not taking him out the lead here. I think you're absolutely right. Just 50. To, not to take him out of the lead is important. Raised to 50,000. <coughs> well, as it turns out, Dwayne does have enough where I think he is going to call. I mean, I'll call that. It, it's okay. the first time Dwayne's seen a pair in a, in a while. He's Absolutely. And he may go broke here. I think that's 50. He's putting in a lot of chips at the moment. <coughs> this pot, Jesse. Ladejo only has the 10 in the deck. Oh. Um, I'm all in. Snap all in. call. I call. Right, cool. it's over. Over two. It is. Oh, Norman Pace <laughs> trapped him. He got the big pot. Dwayne Ledejo has shown a lot Unlucky. tonight, but Pace has been brilliant. <laughs> Pace has been really, really well. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was heads and shoulders really about a lot of the players, it's and, you know, he, he's come through with a great victory. Oh. And he's very magnanimous in victory as well. He's, you know, wishing Dwayne well. What a great heat. That last hand, uh, Pace set it up perfectly. And, uh, well, Dwayne, he might have overplayed it, might have overbet it, but it was the biggest hand he'd seen in a while. Three deuces, not to beat. I don't like losing, but funny enough, I enjoyed this one. And um, it, it was just a lot of fun. To win the celebrity heat, kind of, 
they expect me to do it because they know I'm an experienced player and I've played a lot, certainly in the celebrity world. Uh, it's just about to change now. I play against the pros. The pros will probably know how my game is. They, they're very good at reading people. So I'm gonna have my work cut out. It is Norman Pace, brew from the Celebrity Heat into the main draw. Next time he'll sit down with a World Series of Poker Europe bracelet holder, Thomas Buzzerbeel and Nick Perso here on the Party Poker European Open 5.